Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode we're going to be going back to a Dennis and um, I've picked a little something up for it. Um, it's not 110% complete but it is pretty much there and just a little bit of fettling and it should be ideal and good to go. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, don't forget to hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night wiki live stream which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Before we get down and dirty though, um, my mate uh, Jim turned up the other week and he picked up the Flymo, uh, the Tecumseh Flymo, he's gone with that, he's super happy with it. Um, but he came in with this, a little box of a little box of goodies, and he's given me a little um, Komatsu um, chainsaw, a little tiny lopping saw, about a 14 inch bar, something like that, maybe less. Um, but it comes with the manual, and everything else. He said, you can have that. He said, I think the fuel leaks out of it, um, but it looks like it's got a brand new plug in it and all the rest of it. It's got compression and what have you. Um, nice little saw for what it is, um, all aluminium cast. Um, no plastic on here, um, so that be coming up soon. So I'm quite happy with that, and I might, I might even keep that myself, just for a little sofa around the garden or whatever. So that's super cool. So cheers for that, Jim. Much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's check out the attachment for the Dennis. And here it is. I picked this up just today. I've just come back. And this is the, um, the seat for the Dennis. Um, but I picked up off of a gentleman who actually I purchased the Dennis off. So, so I've actually got a seat for it. Um, he wasn't 100% convinced it was the right one or not. He didn't quite know, but he had a suspicion it would be. Um, it comes with a, a cushion, which he's put on there himself, I believe. But it's got this vintage, let me get a pair of scissors or, or a knife and just cut that off because it actually comes with a, um, a little bicycle seat on there, and I, I don't believe that to be 110% true. So let me just grab a craft knife. Here's one. And I'll come on back to you. I'm just going to cut that off, like so. Now, he actually said that um, he, he was under the impression that this was original um, part of the seat to it, but... On closer inspection, I, I believe it not to be. Uh, only because, uh, although the seat itself, this saddle seat is actually vintage, um, I've not seen any with a black seat, although he has seen some on, on some other videos. Um, but I've not seen anything with this sort of style of seat on before. And this is also mounted on what looks like a, a piece of marine ply uh, of, of a fairly good age as well. Um, but I don't believe it to be 110% original. Now, the only other piece it is missing is an extension, um, which goes onto here. There should be an extension bar that comes out uh, with a coupling, because this is actually too close to the Dennis when, um, when you go to fit it, 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 it sits too close. So unfortunately, at the minute, uh, we're not quite there. Uh, we're just a little way off. Um, you can adjust the height of the seat as well by undoing these bolts on the side to drop it down or up a notch. I've might even need to drop right all the way down because I'm quite tall. Um, so I thought, so okay, no problem. I'll take it as it is. Um, I'll get a, an extension bar made up, uh, just a, a straight piece of alley, alley uh, of, of, of steel metal, a straight piece with a coupling on there, some description, and that, that, that'll do that. So happy with that. Um, but I need to get a tractor seat. Anyway, my new friend, who I bought this off, um, he said, I've got a couple in the old, uh, in the shed. Unfortunately, he was gonna keep them because his wife wanted to keep them to make some rustic bar stools in the kitchen. So we had a bit of talk about it. Anyway, he said, I'll oh, go on, you can have one. Well, I'll sell it to you. So he sold me this uh, tractor seat here, um, which is not, it's not original to the seat, but I think that is uh, much more appealing to the eye. Um, and the other seats that I've seen have this style of seat on them. Uh, the bracketry is slightly incorrect for what I need, um, although I possibly could, could uh, turn it around or do something with the bracketry. I might have to cut this piece off here um, and then just mount it on this one bolt just here onto the seat. And then what I could do is then possibly use this piece of metal, straighten that end up, heat it up and straighten it, 
um, to use on the front end, which will give me about, about a foot for what I need. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this. We'll get it up onto the bench, we'll remove it, and then we'll try and loosey-goosey fit this onto here and see if it makes any difference. Um, but at the moment, I can't fit it to a Dennis because it is short by about a foot and a half. So this may not be long enough. I may need something slightly longer um, to fit to the Dennis, but we'll have a little look anyway, see so what we can't do. So let's get back in the shed, um, take that seat off, put that seat on, see what it looks like, blow it off, hose it off, because um, it is quite dirty, and uh, we'll go from there. So come on, let's get back in the shed. Right, so we've got the old seat up on the uh, lift table. I'm just gonna put some squirt on these big old bolts here. Not quite sure how they fit on there yet. Got a centre one here. So that's captive. So I might not have to do anything with this seat at all. Possibly, we shall see. Uh, what else we got? They just bolt onto there. So I'm not quite sure where this actually bolts on. It could just be one bolt through the centre. There's a couple of bolts in the middle, but that holds a metal plate underneath. So it could just be that, just that big boy there. So we're going to try and remove it. I'm going to get a big adjustable on there because it's actually a square shaped nut. It's not actually a, a, um, a hex shaped nut. It's actually an old square one like we use on a railway. So put that onto there, tighten him up, see if we can't get that to move. Might pay to put it up there, Mick. That's it. Let's put that onto there, tighten him up. It's not going to want to move. Oh, it's moving. Let's get a bit of movement. Let's get that to loosen up. And we'll be on a bit of a winner, eh? I want to try and save this nut if I can, because I can use that to do up, do the, the track right. Make sure it's not spinning underneath. I don't think it is. No, it's not. But I'm only getting like a quarter of a turn at a time. But well, now what I might be able to do is actually spin the whole thing around now it's loosened up. Let's have a look. I don't know left hand thread is it, don't feel like it, it's just locking up halfway around. Let me put my seat down, fit it in there, it'll hold better. That seems to be doing my job. Yeah, now I want to win it. Now she's getting the secrets up. Nearly there. Oh, I think we're there. Huh? Nice big old size nut there. That would be lovely for the other seat. Well, that's come off. Big washer. Let's take that off. Yeah, that's not that. Yeah, that, that, that's not original. Now we can see that's not. There's nothing original about that. I'd say that wood's too new. It just doesn't doesn't seem right. They'd have a, a better mounting system for that. So, we get rid of that. I've got a big washer there. And now we get in the actual seat. And that's gonna sit on there somehow. Doesn't look lovely on there. Now it can't go any other way. I don't think we can mount it here. Possibly we can, but that'd be too far back. If I turn the seat around, that'd be too far back. I might look at some other photographs to see what we've got. So I'm gonna to have to cut this. And what I'm thinking of doing is actually mounting it on there like that. So it's got so it's got a bit of a spring to it as well. But we've going round round that way. So I'm happy with that. So let me get my disc cutter out, my grinder, and I'm gonna cut that bit off. But before I do commit to that, um, I just want to double check some other photographs and documents I've got on my Dennis to see if that fits, because that, that could actually be quite high and you've got to consider what it's going to be like in the position which is going to be around about there that looks about right actually if I have it mounted on the other side which is on this one and tip back into the up into the position I'm downhill so that that's about straight and the seat is downhill whereas if I mount it onto there and tip that up to about straight. Yeah, that's about right there, I'd say. So I'm gonna commit that 
without looking because uh, I believe that to be correct. So I'm gonna now, I'm gonna cut that off, off of there with me, uh, with my disc cutter, my grinder. Cut that off and then we use the same bolt that we had here, this one. Uh, put that onto there. I'll try it like that first. Um, see what that looks like and then we go from there. Okay, so give us two ticks, let me get that cut off and I'll be back. Okay, so I have sacrificed um, that uh, that bit of metal. And the reason I have is that this is a lawnmower that, um, let me turn that light off quick so you see a bit better. Um, I have actually found this lawnmower, which has actually been shown on the Vintage Lawnmower Club of, of this Dennis, which is a really good nick. And as you can see, the seat is pretty much identical to mine, okay? Got a, it's got the tilted foot plate just here. Uh, it's got a big roller which is split. This one is rippled, this one is smooth, that's the only difference. I would say this roller looks a bit bigger, um, but not a lot, but the actual angle of, of this arm on this arm is the same. And if you look, this one's actually got a tractor seat on it as well. And it's looking like it's got two bolts going down through, through here and here, which mine doesn't, uh, that's got two bolts just there. See that plate may not be on uh, on mine, possibly. Uh, so I've got two bolts, which well, I've got two bolts. Um, so I'm gonna fit this tractor seat onto mine. As you can see, it's raised by around about, I'll say four inches, give or take, uh, dependent. But I can adjust it if need be. Um, and then we go from there. So it's not actually sat uh, flat on there, it's actually raised up. But as you can see by this, this um, seat, it's exactly the same as what I've got here. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy I've made the right decision to, uh, to cut that. Um, and as I say, you can adjust the height on these ever so slightly by raising these up and down. So I may have to do that yet. But now I've got the, uh, the tractor seat uh, located like so. I can now get that get that bolt, which is tethered, uh, tapered at one end, so it'll lock off, um, which might be best if I put it in that way. Will it fit? No, it won't fit there. So it's got to go the other way, which would be that way. And that way it'll lock off inside there. That will then go onto there. I'm going to clean that off first with a wire brush just to give it a bit of a helping hand. Let me do that. But that bolt will actually sit up into there and lock off. Um, so it won't swivel and you can adjust, then adjust that uh, forward and backwards. So let me get that cleaned up with a wire brush and I'll be back in two ticks. Okay, uh, one cleaned up bolt, which is better. And now we can now put that up through, lock that off inside, hold him down, get my washer, I'll do my washer. Uh, can't find my washer now. I had it all here two seconds ago. I went over here, but then I didn't go too far with it. It's always the thing when you're working in a shop is that you tend to mislay the bits and pieces that is mislay the bits and pieces you need. I wonder how it's uh, need to be a bit curious how this microphone is now working because I've now got it on this mag on this mag clip go thing they've, they've designed. I know it's not right in the way, but hopefully you guys aren't getting too much interference or heavy breathing. You might be getting quite a bit because it is quite near me old chops. So now that. That bolt can now go onto there successfully. And then we can screw this bolt down, see, like that. And that bolt will now lock into place, okay? But now, look what I've got. I've got all that, all that adjustment. So I'm gonna put it furthest back because my legs is longest. And now I'm gonna nick that up into position. Now, I'm not quite sure whether this should swivel or not, because I have seen some where the seat actually swivels because when you go around tight corners. So this seat may actually be designed to swivel like so, okay? Uh, when you go around a corner, you, you, you can then follow it. So I have seen some of these with a swivel seat on them. So I'm gonna nick that up um, so it's tight. Make sure it's central. And then what I should do is, as and when we, um, we go to use it on the Dennis, I'll see if it makes any difference having a swivel seat. Because um, as you go in a corner, you might like to have that swiveling, okay? So you can, so you stay nice and nice and sort of moving with the machine. That's on there. A uh, bit of suspension too, which is nice to see. We like that. So let's take it outside. Now, I'm not gonna be able to fit it to the machine, as I say, 
but I've got this bit left. Um, so what I could do is um, straighten that up and then use that to, to um, put inside the, um, the frame. But I don't think that's gonna be long enough. I need a, I need a, a, bit, a bit longer uh, to make my coupling up. And then what I should probably do is I should get somebody um, to uh, weld either a coupling on there or can heat this so it's red hot and then try and twist it and just put a turn in that so that um, this then couples up to the dentist. So I don't think we'll be able to do much more with it, but I just want to just show you guys the seat I've got. So let's take it outside and get a quick hose off with the hose pipe and I'll bring it back down, have a quick little look at it, see what we think, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the dentist down. So as you can see, um, with the seat in place, it's actually too close. So that's where it should go on just like so. That's actually in place. But as you can see, it's too close. So this seat needs to actually be at least here so that you can get your feet in behind it, okay? I also just found out that there's some adjustment here to be had. You can actually adjust the angle of the seat, okay? Uh, just there, you see? So that needs to be sorted as well. Um, tightened up and all welded shut, so it's in the right position for me. I might put some spot welds on there. But that's where it's gonna go, roughly. And once that's just all sorted out, that's where we're going to be just there. Super cool, eh? What do you think of that? So I've got to tighten that seat up. Uh, I might drop a weld across there just to hold that in place at its furthest point. About there. And then make an extension bar up just for the front of it, but there you go. So there's a the dentist as well. She's all uh, good to go. Was well, a bit of a pickle to start today. In a minute, yeah, a bit busy. I'm doing a video. Yeah. Cheers for that. I'll do all that again, shall I? Yeah. Cheers. Okay, so as you saw, that's the Dennis um, roller seat now um, back in the old mixed mower shack. We've actually got one, so super, super happy with that. It does need a little bit of work. It needs a tow bar or extension bar put on it because I'm too close to it. Um, but I can get that manufactured, no problem at all. And also the height adjustment on the seat, it does um, alter up and down and also tips forward and backwards. And uh, I think it's just quite well worn. So what I may do is I may just have it so that it's in the upright position and then I can adjust it up and down if I need to, but uh, the forwards and backwards motion, I'm probably gonna leave that and just put it all the way back and then just put a couple of spot welds over it. Um, so if I do sell it on in years to come, then um, they can just grind them spot welds off and they can adjust it for their height. There may be a, bit, a little bit shorter leg, but I'd be right all the way back and as far down as possible so that way I can fit underneath the machine. So um, apart from that, I'm super, super happy. Uh, thank you to my new mate who uh, sold me that just the other day. And um, hopefully uh, we'll have more stories to tell um, because he's got he's got a few bits of equipment. A very interesting man, actually. Very interesting man indeed. I quite enjoy uh, his company and being over there. So that's good. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mows. Hope you did enjoy it. That's for Dennis and now seat now complete. Um, just got to do the tow bar, as I said, and then uh, we can now get on uh, through, this, through this year and next year, start stripping it down and start to have this machine looking a little bit more better. As I say, it starts okay. It was a bit of a pickle to start today, I must admit, but it has been quite cold. Um, I dare say it could do the new spark plug as well because the spark plug is of an age. Um, and I have also noticed that the, um, the fuel screw on the carburetor was done up tight or, or done well seated. And when I first picked the Dennis up, um, that was also the case, if you remember. So I think that may be vibrating um, clockwise and doing itself back up. So as soon as I'm done at about a turn and a half, it started to fire, undid it two turns and it started up. So I think we've got a bit of a traveling jet going on there. So I have to keep an eye on that. 
uh, maybe just well worn, so I might just have to find a way of locking that off. Um, but that shouldn't be no, no big deal. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mo's, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told when I've done a video or two of my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to seeing the next episode very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy. Thank <laughs> you.